Today I'd like to talk about going with the flow and living life in a much more peaceful, much less caustic fighting way. And what do I mean by that? Life has changed. There is change in life. Things happen that we don't expect to happen. And when they happen, we have options in life. We can fight it, say, oh, this shouldn't be happening. But we say, I wish this wasn't happening, but I'm gonna, this is what life God has given me, so I'm gonna flow with that. And when I was a child, we used to, um, growing up in the Midwest, we used to go uh, river, go down rivers and just lay in our bodies. Sometimes we had inner tubes. It was a lot of fun. And if you just laid in the river, relax, you would just float down and it would just be you know, a really nice trip. Sometimes you've got the rapids and they could even be fun. Wow, this is exciting, rapids. But if you stood still, if you tried to stand still, if you tried to fight the river, it could actually, you know, someone would bump into you, you would get knocked over, you might bump into a rock and you could get pretty damaged. But if you relaxed and flowed with the river, even if it was really turbulent, it went well. And life is like that. If you flow with life, if you don't fight it, and you, when the times are tough, you just say, well, this is a hard time. I'm going to float with this. I'm going to flow with this. Life goes better. But when you fight life, there is that. There is pain. There is suffering. So flowing with life makes life, your life, flow well. My life flow well. And I'd like to share my own example of that growing up, um, when my children were growing up, excuse me. When they were younger, we once went on a camping trip um, to um, the Utah. There's a lot of beautiful national parks there. But it was a fairly rustic trip. And we came home, it's a long drive back to California, we decided to spend a couple of nights in Las Vegas. And we stayed at a really beautiful hotel, because they have gorgeous hotels in Vegas. And we had one full day there. We arrived one night, and we had the next whole day, and then the next morning we were going to leave. So we had one full day, and we were all very excited. And my wife was getting ready in the room, so I took the kids down to the pool and to have a really good time to, so we could have a, the full day planned. Like I said, it was a really exciting day planned for us. And we, while we were down swimming at the pool, all of a sudden my daughter you know, um, came up and she was just shaking, and I looked, and she had cut her chin really badly right here. And it was bleeding pretty intensely, so I have to say I wrapped her up, and I took her upstairs. You know, we we stopped the bleeding, but it was a pretty big gouge. So, you know, we said, well, what do we do? And um, I knew that if we got stitches, it was our day was going to be over. You know, we were not going to um, have a great day or the day that we were expecting to have. So my wife and I talked about it, and we said, well, let's call the hotel guests and see hotel um, hospital kind of clinic they had there and see what they say. So they came up. And they really did suggest us to go get stitches for her because it was a pretty deep gouge. So at that point, I had a choice. I could say, oh, you know, we're spending all this money and we're, the day's ruined. We're going to be in hospitals all day long, which I'll tell you about in a minute, which was true. We were. But at that point, I had a choice. Was I going to suffer or was, was I going to flow with what was happening? And I decided to flow. Kind of practice what I'm preaching, to flow with it. And so let me tell you about the day. We went to one hospital first. And we were going to walk, I mean, we were going to drive there, but they said, oh, it's very close. Let's take a taxi. We'll get there in a minute. When we got there, my daughter was very young, so they wouldn't work on infants or, or toddlers, so we had to leave there. And we had to go um, to another hospital halfway across town. And when we got there, we were in a cab again. Um, they said that it would be about eight hours before they could see her. So then, thankfully, my wife had talked to an um, emergency room physician, and he had suggested that we go to a clinic all the way across town where they worked on children and they could get to her probably sooner. So we went to this urgent care and it, again, we were there you know, again, many, many hours, but not as long as it would have been. And, um, and then we got back to the hotel. It was nighttime when we got back and we started off in the morning. But the day was actually fine because what happened was we decided and I decided to flow with the day. You know, my kids had a blast. We let them buy things in the gift store. We found a great pizza place and had pizza. You know, we made a lot of fun of it. and. Um, you know, they actually remembered it for um, years after that as a really fun day. So kids are great about that. And it's really kind of having that childlike attitude about life, flow with life, see everything as an adventure. And what happens is life, even when it throws us hard things, which it may be doing with you or I today, tomorrow, or any time, if you flow with it, life goes so much better. Peace. Our first question this week comes to us from George in Austin, Texas, and he writes in, Hey, Dr. Puff and Elizabeth, just started watching the show, and I love it. It's great. Well, thank you for that. When you say holistic success, though, what exactly do you mean, and how do I work it into my everyday life? 
Thank you, George, for your question. And what we mean by holistic success is that in order to truly be successful at our core, we need to be happy. You know, if we're not happy, then we're really not successful. So what keeps us from being happy is that we get successful at one area of life. Maybe you make a lot of money, or maybe you are in top physical shape, or maybe you um, can really have a, you have a career that is just astronomically wonderful, but that's one area of your life. If other areas of your life are neglected, life does not go well. You know, anyone becoming really good at something doesn't mean they're great at everything. And it's not that you have to be great at everything. It's just that you need to be aware and know that different parts of your life matter. And if they're neglected, there are consequences of that. And we often use the analogy if you're like, you're like a jet. And if you're flying in the sky and all of a sudden, you know, one of your engines breaks down, you know, you're going to crash. But if there's an electrical problem, you may not be able to know where you're going. So you're going to not get to your destination. Or if your um, air, air conditioning stops working, you may get really hot or get really cold. There are many aspects of a plane in order for it to work well that have to be in order. And your life is like that. I think in most of the world, we get really good at a couple things, but it's usually at the cost of something else. Um, Elizabeth and my practice are in Newport Beach, and um, we've worked with very successful people who make a lot of money. It's the OC where they've had two TV shows about it. But when we work with these successful people, they may make a lot of money, but it's usually at the consequence of, of other things. You know, often their marriages suffer, um, their health suffers. Um, and many things can happen because they got good at one thing, but it was at the expense of others. So what holistic success is about is making sure that you look at the whole picture and saying, if everything's in place and not one thing is predominantly in charge, then my life will flow. I'll have Elizabeth tell you more about it. Holistic success is all about learning how to be happy, healthy, and successful in all areas of your life. It's the whole picture that we're looking at, and that's why it's called holistic. It's taking a look at everything in your life. So through this show, what we're trying to do is teach you how to do that. So we've got a lot of guests from different areas of expertise to come teach you that. So it's not just us. We've got a lot of background as well. But we really want to bring you some other things. And no matter where you're at in the world, you can gain access to a lot of this stuff. It might not be that particular guest, but it can be somebody in their field that might be able to help you. Plus, a lot of these people have some wonderful websites you can visit, and we've got a lot of wonderful books that we encourage you to listen to or read. So thank you so much and we hope that you continue to join us on your journey towards holistic success and health. Thank you. Thank you.